Everyone who is building a house wants to achieve maximum comfort and minimum energy consumption. This requires an airtight layer covering the entire building surface. All joints, overlaps and penetrations must be carefully sealed in a professional manner. Only in this way is your house protected against draft, high heating and ventilation costs and building damage. Because of the great importance of an airtight building, envelope limit values are prescribed. Professionals check their work by means of a differential pressure measurement, the blower door test, which shows whether the limit values are complied with. The test is a standard tool and serves to detect leaks. Depending on the country, different limit values apply, which are calculated either via the envelope surface area or the building volume. The measurement serves to determine the number of times per hour the total air volume of the building is changed at a light positive or negative pressure. N50, air change rate, air change, and a 50 pascal pressure difference. The N50 value is the value of the tightness of a building. The smaller the value, the tighter the building. The most important information for the measurement is how much air is in the building. Our model house has an indoor air volume of 600 cubic meters. We include this value into the calculation formula, 600 cubic meters heated indoor air volume. For the measurement, a frame covered with an airtight membrane is fitted into the front door frame. All other openings of the building are closed. The main component of a blower door test setup is a powerful fan. The fan is installed in the opening of the membrane. The values required for measuring are programmed in and measuring begins. Negative pressure builds up inside the structure. The membrane at the measuring apparatus bulges inwards. The fan blows the indoor air out of the structure to produce a negative pressure of 50 pascal in the interior. Through leaks in the building envelope, cold air flows into the house in case of a negative pressure. It is the tester's job to determine how much air flows in via the envelope surface and how much is blown out by the fan. Then the fan conveys outside air into the structure and generates a positive pressure of 50 pascal. This corresponds almost to wind force 5. The more air escapes to the atmosphere through leaks, the more air must be conveyed by the fan and the higher is the air change rate, the N50 value. The value is indicated in the display. It is called V leckage, volume flow through the leaks. This volume flow is determined for one hour. In our example, the fan delivery rate is 1,100 cubic meters per hour. Hence, 1,100 cubic meters of warm air escape in case of a heated indoor volume of 600 cubic meters. 1,100 cubic meters per hour divided by 600 cubic meters results in a value of about 1.85. The air in the building has been changed 1.85 times per hour. For buildings with natural ventilation, the air change rate must not exceed 3 per hour. For buildings with a ventilation system, the air change rate must not exceed 1.5 per hour. In our example, this means the air change rate is too high because the architect planned a building with a ventilation system. The permissible limit value of 1.5 has been slightly exceeded. The craftsman has to search the leaks. To do so, he fills the entire structure with theatrical smoke. A positive pressure is established. It is now possible to see from the outside where smoke is escaping through the building envelope. Smoke escapes in the area of the skylight. It is not the skylight itself that is leaky, but the joint between the vapor control layer and the skylight frame. 
Using a smoke tube, leaks can be detected and air flows can be made visible. A thermal anemometer is used to measure the speed of the incoming air. We perceive inflowing air with a speed of more than 0.2 meters per second as unpleasant. It feels drafty. Cold drafts cause high heating bills. Up to 30% of heat can be lost through leaks. The money for energy literally escapes through the window. The leak is quickly fixed with a short piece of Seeger Corvum. The craftsman checks his work again with the thermo anemometer. Air flows are readily detectable by hand. The smoke tube can be used to conduct a simple check of the component connections. A quick blast of smoke is sufficient to observe where it is forced out through any leaks by the positive pressure. Air is escaping at the overlap of the membranes where they are joined to the wall. The consequence? Wet insulation and wood structures cause expensive building damage. The professional uses Seeger Premier to repair the leak. The smoke proves it. No more air is escaping. The professional secures his work by applying a warning sticker. Finally, the craftsman repeats the blower door measurement in the presence of the building owner and the architect. What improvement has been achieved by the corrections? The air change rate is now well below the required maximum of 1.5. The architect hands the building owner a test record for the measurement that was performed. Seeger House Tight Air and Wind Tightness System Reduces heating costs No drafts, no building damage